Hey guys, my name is Shashwat and I'm a legal intern at Texas Tech Company. Uh, my topic for this video is uh, death by negligence, that is section 304A of the Indian Penal Code. So, the section 304A of IPC talks about the causing death by negligence or a rash act. This section mentions that if a person causes the death or an, of another person by doing a negligent or rash act which does not amount to culpable homicide shall be punished with imprisonment for a term of maximum of two years or with fine or with both. For uh, understanding the whole concept given in section 304A, we need to understand the term neg negligent act first. It became important to have a proper knowledge regarding this term. As in the legal field, negligent can be defined as the act or omission that causes damages to property of another person. Here, in the section of IPC, the term rash or the property of another person, um, a, neg a rash negligent act can be defined as an act that is immediate cause of death. There is a difference between these terms, rash or negligent. Um, by rash act, we mean that any act which can be done recklessly, and by the term negligent, we mean a breach of duty due, due to omission to do something, which is reasonably manual. There are four basic elements that a person had to fulfill uh, to do a negligent act. Firstly, there is duty. That is, for committing a negligent act, there must be some duty on the part of the defendant. Um, here it is important to understand whether the defendant is taking legal duty or of uh, care towards the plaintiff. Then comes the breach of duty. After fulfilling the first criteria, the plaintiff must, be proof, must prove that the defendant has breached the legal duty imposed on him or her. It talks about the breach of uh, duty on the part of the defendant which he she is expected to do as, um, as the person has some legal duty towards the plaintiff. Then the third element is that the action of causing something. It means that the damage to the plaintiff uh, cause is due to the act of the defendant. Here the defendant may do an act which is not expected from him or her or the defendant may be negligent in not doing any an act which was expected from him or her. And lastly, the fourth element to say is the damages. At last, what matters, there is there must be some damage or injury that is caused to the plaintiff, and this damage should be direct and the consequences of the defendant's act. So, um, in the Sherbin Gregory versus State of Bihar in 1964. The definition of rash or negligent act can be understood by the, by this famous case. In this, the Supreme Court stated the difference between uh, the rash or negligent act. Here, the appellant was charged under the murder under Section 304E of IPC for causing death of a woman who stayed near his house of the appellant. Here, the decreased disease was using the uh, toilet of the accused for about a week. The accused gave oral warnings related to the disease but the disease continued to use the toilet of the accused. As he finds his oral warnings to be insufficient so he put a naked cop wire and the women went to the, the toilet and the appellant was as touched of the appellant and she was touched by that fire and due to the shock she died. So um, here the apex code also held that in the appellant would be liable for his rash act and the accused was liable under the section 304A of the Indian Penal Code.
um, then there is a must that in section 304 a that death must be a direct result it talks uh, the section talks about the situation where death of a person must be a direct result or consequence of the act of the defendant here it is important to remember one point that whether the alleged act of the defendant in direct result of the rashness or the negligence of the defendant here the act of defendant must become the ultimate reason for the death without any intervention uh, from an, another person for instance take example of a school administration failed to take care of the student in their house here if any accident will happen then the liability of the school administrator will be depend will depend on the fact that whether the accident was direct result of the negligent act or administration or not so the death must be a direct cause uh, in in the case of Muhammad Ayuddin versus state of Andhra Pradesh the is an, an is another example where driving in a rashly or negligently manner was questioned in the case the appellant appealed against the previous decision to the supreme court of india the major question in this case was whether um, the driver of the bus was really negligent in driving here the driver was driving a bus of andhra pradesh road corporation a passenger named agama boarded the bus and she fell down of the bus as the bus was mo bus moved forward and as the rear wheel of the bus ran over her, she suffered many injuries. Due to these injuries, she died ultimately. According to a witness, as the women fell down, the bus stopped after traveling some distance and the appellant heard the voice to stop the bus. Here, in this case, the various elements of section 304A in the Imperial Code were again cross-checked. Here, the Supreme Court held that it is wrong to presume the negligence of the part of the driver in the motor accident negligence it was further held that in an accident like this it becomes important for the driver to prove that he or she is not negligent the supreme court also talked about the principles of res ipsa locator uh, the, the supreme court said that the principle cannot be appealed applied to everywhere and its application depends on the situation so that is it. Hope you understood what uh, what is section three zero four a. So thank you.